Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode of Trends on Market TV. This is the Friday update. My name is Kasper Pott and we're going to bring you the latest rumors and news from the top leagues around the world. And first of all, we're going to be starting with some news about Lionel Messi and FC Barcelona. They are paying the price for forcing him to stay and very evidently Messi is paying a sum too. It is highly unlikely that the 33-year-old will renew his contract with the club and therefore as per Oca Diaro, Inter Milan is the best option option available for Messi at the moment. It seems the playmaker from Argentina has received a very lucrative offer from Inter Milan which would allow the 33-year-old earn up to £70 million a year and that is something that the six-time Golden Ball winner would like to consider. Moreover, the net salary would amount to €140 million Euros spread over two years. Dele Ali has been left frustrated at Tottenham as he's still not been given the reasons for his exile from the squad, the Daily Mail reports. The England international has made just two Premier League appearances this season and has not featured since coming off the bench against Manchester United before the last international break. A loan exit for Ali was reportedly rejected during the previous transfer window and the opportunity of a permanent departure may emerge in the new year. Paris Saint-Germain failed with the three loan offers during the summer and would certainly be interested again in January if he was made available, the report adds. West Ham United are in talks to sign promising Danish centre-back Frederick Albert Ibsen from Silkeborg. The 20-year-old has been in London with his agent ahead of agreeing a deal and joined in January worth around £1.2 million. The Denmark U21 international can play centre-back and full-back and has attracted interest from Leeds United and Russian side Rostov. Barcelona are reportedly plotting a summer transfer bid for Tottenham midfielder Tanguy and Debele. A report emerged earlier this year that the Catalans were interested in the Frenchman. José Mourinho largely ignored Ndobel last season, but recent weeks have seen the £54 million signing begin to make his mark at Tottenham. Ahead of Thursday's trip to Ludogorets, he has featured 10 times and scored twice, matching his goal tally from the 2019-20 campaign. Mikel Arteta has pumped the brakes on talk of Moab El Neni being handed a new Arsenal contract. The Egypt international has breathed the new life into his Gunners career with a string of stellar displays this season. The midfielder who spent the 2019-20 season on loan in Turkey with Besiktas turned in a dominant performance this past weekend at Arsenal's 1-0 victory over Manchester United. El Neni, 28, has made nine appearances for the North Londoners so far this season and appears to have firmly established a place in the starting 11. His a prolonged, prolonged run in the team has led to speculation he could have his currently deal at the Emirates, which is set to expire in the summer extended. Manchester United, Leicester and Everton have joined a growing list of clubs interested in Villarreal and Nigeria winger Samuel Shukweze, a player who has already caught attention of three other Premier League clubs and many more across Europe. Shukweze only turned 21 earlier this year, but has been part of the Villarreal first team since 2018, after he was scouted by the Spanish side playing at youth level in his native Nigeria. He was part of the Nigeria squad that finished third in the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations. It's now almost a year ago that Mauricio Pochettino stood on the sideline as a coach, then still for Tottenham Hotspur, but that could change. According to reports from Manchester Evening News, that could change soon. Manchester United have therefore set their sights on Pochettino as a possible new coach. With a 2-1 defeat in the Champions League and a disappointing 15th place in the Premier League, United coach Gula Ona Skolskja must be serious worried about his position. From the first six games, the Red Devils could only score seven points. The Argentinian Pochettino already emphasized a few days ago at Sky UK that he has motivation to become active as a coach again. And here is the Bundesliga. Bayer Leverkusen apparently want to extend the contract with winger Musa Dhabi, which already runs until 2024. According to the magazine, Bayer is said to have rejected an offer of 50 million from Manchester United for the 20-year-old Frenchman this summer, while City rivals Manchester City are also expected to show keen interest. The RB had moved to Leverkusen from Paris Saint-Germain for 50 million in the summer of 2019. Should Andre Villas-Boas get his wish, Bayern Munich can calculate with a significant transfer fee that would be among the highest ever received. The Olympic Marseille coach has been impressed by Marc Cousins, which is currently on loan from Bayern. I hope we can trigger his Bayern clause, the OM head coach said on Thursday. L'Equipe has reported that the Bayern option would earn Bayern 18 million euros. Only eight players have earned the German recordmeister a higher transfer fee, among them Thiago Matsummels and Douglas Costa. 
William Saliba was considered one of the biggest talents at AS saint Etienne when he joined Arsenal. Nothing less, nothing more. And the 19-year-old is not supposed to be more than that for the Gunners. But that alone deal did not work out for the teenager this summer has frustrated Michael Arteta, especially as the club did not register the player for the Europa League where he would be useful at the moment. The 30 million that Arsenal paid for the defender makes him the most expensive teenager in its history. Despite being already 37 years old, Pepe extended his contract at FC Porto. With more than 680 competitive matches, most recently the 100th Champions League appearance and with 26 cup and league trophies, one of the players with the most titles worldwide in the 21st century. He has already achieved several successes and milestones in his career, but the 37-year-old is not thinking about retiring. The Portugal international extended his contract with FC Porto by two years until 2023. Since the beginning of 2019, the long-time Real Madrid player has been back at the Liga Nos club. Since then, Pepe featured in 65 games and scored four goals. At the end of his contract, Pepe would be 40 years old. Crystal Palace defender Mamadou Sako has accepted substantial damages from the World Anti-Doping Agency over allegations that he had taken banned performance enhancing drugs. The former Liverpool defender was briefly suspended in 2016 after he tested positive for a fat-burning substance for after a Europa League game against Manchester United that March. Sako missed the Reds Europa League final against Sevilla and he also alleged a place in France's Euro 2016 squad as a result of his suspension. The 30-year-old was ultimately cleared in July 2016 by UEFA's disciplinary body, which found that Higinamine was not on WADA's banned list and the agency's own laboratories were unsure about its status. Reports have emerged from a couple Uruguayan journalists that City Football Group have signed Uruguay youth international midfielder Santiago Rodriguez for a $5 million fee, and the national youngster could be potentially on his way to New York City FC. According to reporter Rafael Castillo, Rodriguez could join fellow CFG club Girona or stay with Nacional on a short-term basis before coming to Major League Soccer in 2021. So and this seems not to be a normal deal for Rodriguez because the City Football Group is not a football club but just a football investor which owns up to 10 clubs. So it might be an interesting journey for Rodriguez and we will see where he might be going. So the possibility could be Manchester City or maybe New York City FC as we already said. Maybe Melbourne City or the last uh, champions of the J-League, Yokohama F Marinos. Uh, possibility could be the club Atletico Torque as well and as well another club a Spanish club FC Girona which was uh, got by them in 2017 then a Chinese club so it's possibilities all around the world as we can see Mumbai City maybe it's going to India Lomeless car from Belgium in the second league or to Troyes AC which is in the second French league so it could be an interesting journey and uh, we will keep our eyes peeled what will happen with the player so please leave us a comment what you think about the Rodriguez deal and the City Group and what it might mean for the future of football if an investment group buys or signs a player. And now we're having a closer look of Liverpool FC's Diogo Jota, who scored in the last four matches. At the last match against Atalanta, he scored even three goals and he's a really good alternative for Firmino and we're taking a closer look at both players and definitely what you can say is that Liverpool bought a really good player and made a really well signing and uh, we will see what the future brings and what the season brings if he might be that strong through uh, it's a really good investment and maybe his market value will rise to the one of Firmino's. And as we've been talking about scoring goals in the Champions League, we're taking now a closer look at the top players with the best ratio in the Champions League goal scoring. And uh, first of all, we have Ruud van Nistelrooy, the 44-year-old legend for Manchester City, who scored 56 goals in 73 games. And then the old Werder Bremen striker, Vinton Rufer, who's already 57, scored 8 goals in 10 games with a ratio of 0 0.8. 
Lionel Messi takes the third spot with 118 goals in 146 games for FC Barcelona. And on the second spot, Harry Kane, the English international, with 20 goals in 24 games. And on the top spot, the youngster, Erling Haaland, with 14 goals in 11 games, which makes him a ratio of 1.27 goals in a game. And here we have an overview of all the players. As you can see, who's missing? Definitely, it's Cristiano Ronaldo who takes the sixth spot. This is Transfer Market TV for this Friday. Hope you all stay healthy and stay safe. Have a lovely weekend. Bye-bye.